three games. Tackling's improved. I know that's been a big, been a big topic early in the season. I guess what have you guys done? What have you seen for defensively to I guess make that turn around? Oh yeah, man. It's just starting in practice. Just make it preaching. Coach Diaz has been preaching just wrapping up ball carriers. Uh, one thing we were doing early on in the season, kind of just getting to the runner and thudding. So uh, the thing he emphasized the last couple of weeks, man, just if it's not 11 hats to the ball every time, you know, when we're in these scout periods, when we're in your team periods, and uh, just make sure we're finishing on the ball carrier. So that's uh, leading to improvement on the field. Obviously, Kenny Pickett's one kind of challenge. Jeff Sims, a, a different kind of guy. What makes, what's going to make him tough this Saturday? Uh, obviously, you know, Pickett, uh, guys more in the pocket, passing the ball uh, this weekend, man. This guy is pretty athletic. Uh, he gets out of pocket and he makes things happen. So kind of got to keep him bottled in, um, kind of change up our rush plans, run some games to uh, mix it up up front and try to uh, challenge these guys to, you know, to throw them off balance. I know you guys, it seems like you've been kind of happy with the, the pressure you've gotten, but obviously haven't gotten the home for as many sacks probably as you want. Does a guy like Jeff Sims, who's so mobile, like does it change the way you guys <coughs> kind of rush and focus more on contain than necessarily getting down the backfield? Well, you, you, you still have to uh, approach the, the rush with the same mentality, you know. Um, you don't want to change anything up, but but most importantly, man, once you get there, you got to wrap up and you got to uh, target low. Make sure you target an upfield shoulder. That's the thing we've been preaching kind of in the meeting rooms, uh, think for improvement that we've been looking for. So when you get there, you just got to finish them. How does the, uh, the atmosphere as a whole, the team's attitude as a whole, change if it has at all? It has to after two, two wins. What's the difference now? <laughs> uh, you see guys uh, want to come in and get better. Um, you know, we're not satisfied at all. Guys still want more. Um, this team wants more wins. These coaches want more wins. And we've kind of been on each other that we can't get satisfied um, in the locker room. So, you know, we're coming to, the, to work with the same mentality, get better each week and uh, finish the week with a dub. What are the, uh, the two freshman safeties back there? Obviously, first time starting together. What did you think of the way they handled themselves? Um, just for those guys being so young and the way they're performing, you know, uh, it, it's great to see that they're picking up things on the fly. They're adjusting to uh, new schemes each and every week. They come in, they work, they're eager to learn it. Um, in the meeting room, they're, they're, they're on the edge of their seats trying to get better. So it's a great thing to see. And uh, you know the program is headed in the right direction. We just talked to Cam uh, like right before you. And I know people like talk about his football IQ a lot. Uh, just, is that kind of oh yeah, to you? that guy there is very smart, uh, very special when it comes to breaking the game down mentally. So it's uh, pretty awesome to see at a young age.